So here's our situation. It says write a sine function if we know the amplitude is 4, the period is pi over 2, and there's a, there's a vertical shift 3 units. Write the equation that would have this information. Okay? It says write a sine function. So y equals, all right, we're going to have sine in there. If the amplitude is 4, what do you know? Plus 4 at the beginning. Put a 4 at the beginning, right? 4 and negative 4? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put plus or minus 4 then, because it could be either one. We know the amplitude's 4, so you know it's got to start either in y equals 4 times the sine or y equals negative 4 times the sine. Could be either one, because even if the a value is negative 4, is my amplitude still 4? Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you put plus or minus there, because it could be either one. Okay. Is there a chance there could be two separate like graphs with both, both the positive and the negative 4 side? No. Okay. No. Okay. The vertical shift right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask my student question. Okay. Okay. So technically, so the period is normally 2 pi over b, right? Yes. So then if it's simplified down to like 1 half, couldn't it clear, like, couldn't b be like a lot of things? Nope. Okay, never mind. I'll show you how to break right later in a second. Okay. That's all right. Well, here's okay. another question. Yeah. It, whether it's a positive 4 or negative 4 sign, are the values going to be just about the same yeah. as that's positive or negative? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, I know my a value has to be 4 or negative 4. It says the period has to equal pi over 2. Well, how do you normally find the period of a sine term? You said it is 0? No, period. Oh. 2 pi over b. That's all right. Okay? 2 pi over b. That's how you normally find the period, right? So, we know the period is equal to 2 pi over b. Correct? Yep. But now we know that the period is pi over 2. So can't I replace the period with pi over 2? If I know the period is 2 pi, or pi over 2, well then I know my answer. Yeah. Solve for b. That's a proportion. How do you solve proportions? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Some of you can probably see what the answer is without doing that. Okay. But if you need to cross multiply, b times pi equals 4 pi. Divide both sides by pi, and you get b equals 4. Oh, it's not going like that? It's not always, but I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a pretty easy proportion to solve. It's not going to be. There might be a fraction. There might be a pi in the b value as well. Like I just said, the period was six units. Then your B value is going to have a pi in it. But it's so then I know that I got to have a four in place of my B. I was nice here and didn't give you a phase shift. So therefore, my C value is nothing, nothing zero. Okay. And I have a vertical shift, which means an up or down shift of three units, because I'm telling you it's a positive three units. We are shifting this thing up three units. So how do I make this graph shift up three units? Plus, plus, three. Three. plus three at the very end. Okay? What do you think of that? Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay? We'll do one more that will have a phase shift, just so you're aware of how to do it. I'll give you some practice on those. Okay? So let's go... Let's go cosine function. Let's say amplitude is 7. Period is... Get a little weird here. Um, let's go eight. Okay. Let's go phase shift. 
is... 17. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Two? Yeah. All right, fine. Who said that? Oh my gosh. And a vertical shift. Negative four. We'll go negative four. Sure. Yeah. All right, so y equals, what's my a value going to be? Positive or negative seven, right? Then write a cosine function, so I'm going to write cosine. How do I determine my b value? 2 pi over b has to equal how much? 8. eight. So 2 pi over b has to equal 8. Multiply both sides by b. So 2 pi equals 8. B, divide by 8, and B is pi over 4. Mm -hmm. Okay? This time I have a phase shift, so there's going to be a little bit more in there. And I have a vertical shift of negative 4, so I know what's going to happen way back here. Minus 4. Minus 4. In order to figure out your phase shift, what do you do? Set this equal to 0, right? Okay, well right now we don't know what our C value is, correct? So let's just set... pi over 4 times x plus c equals 0. I don't know what my c value is. Okay? But now, hold on. Okay? When I solve this for x, that will be my phase shift, right? X will be my phase shift. So since I know my phase shift has to be 2, I can take a 2 and plug it in for the x right now. Yeah. Pi over 4 times 2 plus c equals 0. Now can I solve this for c? Yeah. Pi over 2 plus c equals 0. Subtract pi over 2. c equals negative pi over 2. There is my answer. Okay. Well, it'll start at negative one. Well, either start off at positive one or down at negative one. Uh -huh. But the the parent function starts up at one because the cosine of zero is one. Yep. Okay. One more time on this to make sure it's clear. Remember, when you try to figure out the phase shift on the first one we did today, didn't you set this equal to zero and solve for x? Remember that? And whatever you got for x, that was your phase shift. So that's why I knew I could put a 2 in for the x. Because I know that when I solve that for x, I get my phase shift. Well, so x would equal 2 in this case. So that's why I could plug 2 in for that x. Okay? So... There's an example of one with all four of them. These are good, I like them. Okay. Uh, let's see if I have this candy. Like no, I'll one. just... I like the candy. I like the candy. You want to have a two over one? I think it's what everyone thought it said. The second thing is a high... All right. Two over one. Page 374. Thirty-seven to fifty-three odd. Page three seventy-four. Thirty-seven to fifty-three odd. And page three eighty-four. Twenty-one to thirty-three odd. 
page 384, 21 to 33. And all those are our writing equations.